Laura Vitale. On this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I want to show you how I make my roast chicken and potato bake. Super simple and easy. I make a thousand variations of this. I really do. I make a lot of them. But this is pretty standard and I guarantee it'll be on your weeknight menu all the time because it's really simple and easy to put together. So the ingredients for this are super, super easy. All you're going to need are some chicken legs, fresh thyme, fresh rosemary, some garlic cloves, potatoes, lemon, salt, pepper, extra virgin olive oil. That's it. Now, I have to tell you, if you're like anything like me where you have very long days at work and you're coming home and you want something quick and easy, this is a dinner for you. These kind of meals save me all the time because they're easy, they're two minutes hands-on time, an hour in the oven, but in that time I can take a shower, you know, do my laundry. Now all I'm doing is putting my chicken legs in here in a bowl, skin and all, because the skin's gonna get really nice and crispy, which I love. Now I'm using chicken legs. Why am I using chicken legs? I got 12 of them for $2.99. That's why I'm using chicken legs and, in my opinion, chicken legs are everything chicken breast isn't. They're cheap, they're juicy, they're very, very flavorful, and you can cook them for a long time and they get even more tender and kind of fall off the bone. While chicken breast, you have to cook them quickly. You have to, you know, give them a little tender loving care just because they dry up really quickly and really fast and if you cook them for a long time well they kind of are very tasteless and they don't have a lot of taste and they're expensive so for dinners like this I go ahead and use the dark meat I love it it's cheap it's delicious it's good to go so all I'm doing in this bowl is making a little marinade now let me give you a tip you can save even more time Get it? Time, huh? You can save even more time by making, marinating the chicken, okay? You can marinate the chicken the week before. Pop it in the freezer in a Ziploc bag, and guess what? The night before, you pop it into your fridge, it defrosts by itself, and you do nothing to it, but put it in a pan and bake it. And that is dinner. I mean, come on, right? Now, all I'm doing is putting a little rosemary and some fresh thyme in my chicken, just like that. I'm going to season it with salt and pepper and then I'm going to zest and juice a lemon, small little lemon, and then I'm going to cut the lemon in quarters and put the whole lemon right in there. It's going to roast up, it's going to get caramelized around the edges but have a tiny little note of the, the lemon kind of gets, it gets caramelized but it still stays a little bit bitter which tastes really good if that makes any sense. So that's why I do it. If you don't want to add the lemon in there, then don't. This is all about whatever you have left over. I'm just squeezing the lemon right in, like so. Then quartering, cutting the halves in half again. A little extra virgin olive oil. Now if I had time, I would have done this yesterday. But I wanted to share it with you. So, and we're hungry for dinner, so we're definitely gonna have this for dinner. So I'm gonna set this aside for, I don't know, five minutes, however long it takes for me to cut the potatoes. And also, you want to preheat your oven to 450. You want to be nice and hot. Now, all I'm doing to my potatoes, first of all, at my baking dish here, I want to just drizzle it with a little bit of olive oil because these glass baking sheets can sometimes stick, and we don't want that, but that's perfect. Now, all I'm doing to my potatoes, these are Yukon Golds, which means the skin is really tender, and I don't have to peel it. I'm just going to cut them into big cubes like that, I don't want that part, and just put it directly into the baking sheet, into the baking pan. I've got some garlic cloves here that I did not peel. Why didn't I peel it? Because we're cooking this at a really high temperature, which means that if I would peel it, the garlic would burn. If the garlic burns, it becomes bitter, becomes t terrible, Ugh, you don't want to eat that. So leave it in the skin, it gets caramelized, it gets really sweet, you can pop it out of the skin and eat it just as is, it's got a really sweet flavor. I'm just seasoning my potatoes with a little extra virgin olive oil, salt and pepper, and a last little sprig of rosemary that I'm just going to scatter and tear, just like that. And this is, this is my kind of food. This is home food. I make so many variations of this. I make, it, I make some with pearl onion, peas, and a little bit of white wine. I make some with sweet potatoes for the fall with a little butternut squash and sage. It's delicious. And I will definitely share that with you guys. But 
for right now, we're gonna make this one. Now I'm just taking my chicken. I'm kind of moving the potatoes out of the way so I can make a little room for my chicken. And yes, this is a lot of potatoes for two people because it's just my husband and I, but I love potatoes. And when they're cold the next day, just cook them up with like you would a potato hash. It's delicious. Right on top, it doesn't hurt anything. Take my lemons, put my lemon right up top. It's just, a, this is easy food. This is home food, don't be precise about it. Now this is gonna go into your preheated oven, wash your hands first for about an hour. Don't do anything to it, just leave it alone until the chicken is tender and it's cooked all the way through. The potatoes are cooked and slightly crispy and brown on the edges and that's it. Pop it in. Look at that, huh? Is that not a beautiful sight or what? <sighs> now I serve this straight out of the, of the tin, of the tin, <laughs> of the baking dish, just like that. It's homey, it's comforting, you did two minutes worth of work. The oven did an hour of work, but whatever, you, you know, I you know, probably polished my nails or something in that time, but this looks perfect. You can serve this to just you and your husband with like a side salad or something. You could serve it to guests with a side salad, a baguette, you'll be good to go. I'm taking a potato, because I want this potato. It's gonna be really hot, but what, has that ever stopped me before? That did burn my tongue though. Oh, it was really hot. I got chew for a minute. I'm good, I'm alive. My tongue is a little bit burned, but it was well worth it. This is so good. The potatoes are really nice and crispy, cooked all the way through. Tons of flavor from the rosemary. The lemon is kind of seeped through the potatoes a little bit, but that's exactly what I'm looking for. I am gonna, oh, the skin is so nice and crispy. Oh, I gotta get a piece of the skin, sorry. Okay, enough said. I gotta have dinner. I'm starving, this looks delicious, and it was so super simple to make. You know you're gonna go in your kitchen, make this for dinner, and you're gonna be in business. It's easy, simple, cheap as chips. Right, Amy? I hope you guys have enjoyed spending time with me. To get this recipe and others, go to www.lauranakitchen.com, and I'll see you next time. Bye.